I've got this old Bobcat Ransoms zero turn mower. It's got a 60 inch deck. The thing is built solid, solid. And I hate to throw it away. Our family bought it new, but this is the second engine I've had on it. And that engine blew. So I've got a friend that has a mower that's shot, but it has a good 24 horse Briggs and Stratton engine on it. He says, so let's go over and check that engine out, see if we can pull it off, see how it runs, and if it's good, I can go from an 18 horse, 18.5 horse, up to a 24 horse, and I'm gonna have to modify the way this gas tank sits on here. There's not enough room for the engine. I'm hoping to make it work. Let's do it. All right, take this cover off. Flywheel screen's got to come off. Now she. Whoa! Look at that. It was sitting underneath the guy's deck at his house. And I guess the mice or rats or something decided to build a nest there. Oh, there's even some nuts in here. And they're good about chewing up wires. And I can see the coil wires already. Bear, the kill wire, that's not good. You can see that bear kill wire for the coil right there. Those mice chewed on it. Oh. And we're gonna throw a battery in it quick. I'm gonna unplug the kill wires, just see if it'll run. Otherwise all these shorts won't allow it to have spark. I got both kill wires disconnected. Otherwise with that short, it's not gonna start. But there's a third wire in here. And that goes to the fuel shutoff solenoid down here. So it won't start if that's not, it doesn't have a good connection. We'll find out soon. All right, we jumped it, and she'll kick over. Well, we jumped it at the solenoid there. That's the solenoid right in there. It just crossed those, a screwdriver crossed those two stubs there, and it kicked over. Yeah. Good enough. Just to test, see if it'll run, see if it'll kick over. Test work. <laughs> <laughs> Complete. So it does fire up, it does run. The solenoid for the carburetor is all burned up. So I'm gonna look for a used one. The fuel line's not connected to the fuel pump here. So that doesn't matter because I'll run a new fuel line to it from the other one. I think it's worth giving it a try. I'll change the oil, clean it up, pressure wash it, fix the carburetor and uh, maybe I can make something out of this. It'd be nice to have the extra horsepower too. All right, there's just four bolts that hold this engine down. There's one here, one here, and then two on the other side, and just disconnect them from the bottom. Gotta pull that clutch off to get the engine off. All right, here we go. Now, I usually like because of the shaft to set these engines on like a CBS block so it can lay flat, not fly around. But I found this brake rotor and I think that'll work. Set that in there and the shaft can sit down in there. There we go. Now I can just secure that in the back of the truck. And back to the shop we go. So what I'm going to do is split this and take the front mowing deck off. And then I'll be able to just work on it right from there. I don't have to fight with all this stuff back here. There we go. 
Aha! That'll be a big help. He doggy! I built this so I could run a larger battery, and I've been very happy with that. So I'm going to take that off. And we'll pull the gas tank off. And this is why I like to pressure wash before I start working. It's a greasy mess under there. And I might pressure wash it just a little bit anyways. And we'll disconnect our throttle cable and the choke and the wires that go to the coil and the ground wire from the wiring harness. And then we need to pop the PTO clutch off. I took the bolt out from the bottom of the crankshaft that holds that in. And in the past, this has just fallen off. But it's not falling off, so what I'm going to do, I tried prying a little bit. It's just stuck on the crankshaft. So I'm going to put this on, but not all the way. And I'm going to take my pry bar and pry a little bit and tap this. Hopefully that will drop off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just sticks a little bit. There we go. Now all I have to do is remove the four bolts holding the engine in. And we are ready to pull this baby. Come on, baby! Yeah! Alright, we got her all cleaned up and ready to put it back together. Now before you go any further in changing out an engine, you want to tip it over and measure this shaft. You want to measure the length of the shaft, which is 3 and 3 sixteenths, and also the diameter of the shaft. And that's a one inch shaft. Now I have an engine that used to be on that lawnmower, and let's go measure that and make sure it matches up. And I brought one of the pulleys off of this, so I can just slide this on for the size, but I need to measure the length. And here's the engine I hung on to. That's the original engine off it. See if this will slide on. Line up the key. Nice, tight fit. Perfect. Beautiful. Three and three sixteenths. We got a match. And you need to measure the bolt pattern. And it's seven inches by eight inches. You need to make sure that lines up also. All right, before I throw this engine on, <clears throat> this exhaust doesn't match up and won't work with the one I have. So I need to take these exhaust pipes off and probably what I'm going to do is cut them here and weld them, just turn them up, weld them on, and that'll sit in front of the engine and work on my setup. And one last thing I want to do before I throw this on the deck is let the old oil out. I'm going to change it anyways, and I'm going to have to modify this also. That's some black oil. This engine's a little different than the opposing cylinder engine, so I've got to cut out a little of this support bar right in here so the engine can fit and I can get the mounting plate lined up exact. I got the engine on and I got the oil drain rerouted and the next thing I need to do is try to fix up the exhaust, the muffler. These need to mount right here and as you can see the lawnmower that they came out of it came off the bottom and then went through the deck and the muffler was mounted underneath. Well that's not going to work here. I got pulleys and stuff under here. So I need to cut this pipe off straight 
and I think I should have from my measurements about a half an inch underneath there to an inch and then somehow I need to get a muffler on there so I'm going to have to fabricate this make it custom so the first thing I'm going to do is cut this pipe Okay, slowly throwing things together. Now as you can see, I got the exhaust pipes welded, painted even, how about that? And I mounted the muffler, that just slides in there, nothing to it. And I threw the gas tank back on, that's just four bolts. This is where the battery mounts in here. And since it's close enough to the muffler here, I want to put a metal plate on the side just to be cautious of the heat and I want to put a heat shield on here to protect the carburetor a lot of plastic pieces here but I'm not going to use this this was originally with the old tra tractor that this came off of I got a piece of maybe it's 1 32nd steel plate and I'm going to go ahead and make something for that and what I'm going to try to do is just put it over here. I'll have it down like this. It'll come up and then just bend over the top here. And I'm just going to use some hose clamps. I'm hoping this will work. Just cut some slots in the plate and put the hose clamps down through on each side. Clamp them down and I think that'll hold that in place. That'll shield that. And then I'm going to take a piece of that and just screw it on the side of here. Protect the battery. And I, this shroud is just sitting on here temporarily. Just want to make sure everything is fit. So let's go ahead and measure up and cut some steel here. I got the grooves cut and on that side all right we got that guard on put a piece of metal on the box for the battery also okay ha! this has been a much bigger project than I thought I wanted to try this engine, somebody gave it to me, but modifying uh, exhaust system is a big job and then all the wiring and stuff I can work that out. I got a new fuel line on here and got that all secured. I've got my throttle and choke cables all set up. So all I need to do is change the oil filter, put fresh oil in it, I drained the old oil out of it already. 
I need to fuel it up, hook up the wires, and hook up the mower deck, and we'll be set to give it a try. I also have to hook up the ground cable. I'm going to go ahead, hook up the mower deck, and drop this down, and then all the wiring and the other stuff I can get from the top. We're all set underneath. I've wired up most of the stuff, and I think we're close enough at least to give this a try. So, throw the battery in, and hook it up, and see what happens. Just push a little gas through there. Here we go, first test. That shuts the engine off but I need to hook that up to the ignition switch and fix this fuel filter and I think we'll be in pretty good shape I can put the cover back on and go out and try mowing with it hee hee doggy and we'll finish this up and put our little pretty covers on and things <laughs> 